Dr. Douglas Robinson, Campbell Podiatry. I'm going to talk to you about a common condition that affects the big toe joint. It's an arthritic condition called hallux limitus or hallux rigidus. And that's where the big toe joint starts getting spurring up on the top from a jamming of the big toe relative to the first metatarsal. So this person came in complaining of pain somewhere around the big toe. We weren't sure if it was the fungal nail or if it was because of this. These toes move really fluidly, but this is rigid. This guy only has about 15 degrees of flexibility here because he has an arthritic condition where instead of the ball and socket, normal condition of a big toe joint, he has spurs on the top, but he's got narrowing of the joint. It's a wear and tear phenomenon. Sometimes it happens with an injury. This person didn't have an injury, but over time, this has become painful over the last two to four weeks. It's become surprisingly really uncomfortable. This person's a golfer. Um, and my goal is to do a treatment directed test to determine can this be treated conservatively with an uh, aperture to take pressure off the big toe joint. And if it can't, then I will offer an injection to make it feel better or a surgical option for this. So when someone has an arthritic big toe joint or limited, flexi limited flexibility of this joint, we do a treatment directed test utilizing these pads called Jill's Dancer's Pads that are washable, reusable, and self-sticking. So I'm gonna put these on the feet right now. So these are actually self-sticking, so come around here. So when this gets put on, you're gonna feel for the big toe joint. This is gonna go around that joint to offload that joint during the propulsive phase of gait. So pressure will go here before it loads up this joint, and we're gonna do this on both because he has it on both, but let's just say this person has it just on one foot. You still wanna use pads on both, so you're not feeling like, God, I got a pad on one foot. You wanna have it on both. And to make sure you understand where to put it, I will do this. Initially, I use a Sharpie to mark out where I want that pad to go on. And of course, the Sharpie will wash off after you bathe. So the way that you do this is you wear this during the day. You can use this with almost any shoe, golf shoe, casual shoe, running shoe, dress shoe. At the end of the day, you peel this off. After you mark it, so you know right where I want it to go, you wash this with soap and water for five seconds, let the sticky side be face up, and then it will stick again so you can put it on day in and day out. Some patients, this will last a week. Sometimes you can get a month of use out of this. So, this is how I first do a treatment directed test to see what the best treatment would be for your condition, which is an arthritic grade toe joint called hallux rigidus.